Daniel Shedd, y'all ready to do this? Yeah. Yep, do All right, man. Well, we're officially going to launch blades here. We got our mossy oak shattergrass blades box done up. That's our payload. We got our weather balloon. It's rated for 100,000 feet to go up, 18 miles. I, I can't even believe it's actually going to do it. We got our gas here to get it up and going. And uh, now all we got to do is carefully put that gas into that balloon without popping it, tether it onto our, uh, onto our parachute slash radar reflector slash payload and uh, let it go. It'll be about a three hour round trip. So hopefully everything goes right. We'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. So let's, let's get to rolling. Let's get this balloon out. I don't know, we really don't know how how much more air we need in this. Uh, yes, it's gotta lift the jug, so size-wise we really don't know you know where we stand. There is no set measurement around to how big it should get, it's just how much weight it can pull up. Tell you what, we are not far. We are not far. This tank, this, uh, our payload is what, three pounds, roughly three and a half pounds. Uh, this jug is about four and a half. And when it's able to pull this jug up, we know we have ample lift from the balloon. And uh, now, as this goes up, it's going to expand, you know, with the decrease in atmospheric pressure, it's going to swell up. And eventually, it's swelling up is what's going to cause it to rupture. So, and hopefully that'll occur at 100,000 feet, roughly 18 miles up. We are on the cusp here of having enough to get this thing up. Since you are the kind of lead on this, actually, since you kind of help assemble, I would say, most of this, and you're also our in-house camera expert, uh, when we are after, after this point, when we have enough air, uh, we're going to you're going to go through and do the checks and balances on the camera yeah. and make sure all that's done and maybe you know i'll run that camera We're, we are we are off the ground yeah it's not going to lift much higher because yeah. those two we'll make sure it's i, I think we're done you got me sh i'm shutting her off Think, Daniel. Is it time? Oh, it's time. All right. Steven. I'm going to set this camera down. You set the camera down and do our checks and balances on our electronics. Okay. All right, what we got? At the end of the payload, we have the Mossy Oak Blades logo with the Mossy Oak Graphics vinyl and Shadow Grass Blades. And inside the box, we have our GPS spot tracker. We'll be able to track our balloon every 10 minutes. We have our contour camera inside the box pointed out to the Mossy Oak Blaze, and we also have a camera on the outside of the, the box, another contour, so we'll get the, the actual lift off. And the external battery pack to power the contour for at least six to seven hours. So hand warmers to keep it cold, because it's about to go. Keep it warm. Keep it warm, it's about to go negative 60 degrees fahrenheit so and what is that silver thing this is our radar reflector so we are we are meet all the requirements with the faa so we are we're legal and we call it air traffic control and schedule a flight with them so they know what's going on cool all right well <clears throat> is everything good there we're waiting on uh right now we're waiting on a gps location from the spot tractor spot tracker when we get that we're we're letting it up. go we're going up a hundred thousand feet <laughs> this is unbelievable man this is the coolest thing ever the official launch of the mossy oak blades
Alrighty, Stephen gave us the A-OK. -okay. All the electronics are on, our GPS is tracking. Shed, Daniel, I believe we're good to go. We're gonna send, uh, officially launch blades and put this little guy into space. Godspeed, three, two, one, lift off. Logging in to this uh, our map to, to kind of track and see where exactly it is. It is no longer moving, and hopefully, if I can get this thing to connect, we'll have details on where it has landed. And here we go. We are west of Aberdeen. I'm gonna send these coordinates to, uh, we got another team on the ground looking for it. And uh, I'm gonna send it to Riley and Jesse. I'm gonna see if they can get, if they're closer to it than we are. It took a, uh, a pretty interesting voyage to say the least. We left from here and it went north and then back down south and then up and then back here. Actually further up than that, right there. So almost went to Amory and then came back around to Aberdeen. According to Google Earth, it, it has barely moved. So we know that maybe uh, Riley, without our consent, touched it. <laughs> so we'll see anyway. We're right there sitting in a, in a field. Obviously, you know, the field may not look like that. It's not gonna be rowed up, but maybe it is. It may look just like that, what you see out the window, we hope. But it's not 50 foot in the tree, and it's not in the water, so it should be easy to recover. Did you find it? Yeah, we got it. You got it. Where is it? Way back off from there. How are we gonna get there? Just walk? We'll get there, I'll show you. Just walk. All right, no, follow, drive, following you. Drive. Went through a, uh, went through a bottom there, crossed some water. Drove past about five tractors that are spraying this corn out here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully our uh, payload is not covered in chemical, but we will soon find out. So we are not far. We are just a few minutes away from recovery. Knock on wood. Oh, I yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! What we got? We got it. Visual? We've, we got a visual. It's right out there. We are about to do the recovery. We had a visual, it's just out there, 50 yards or so, 75 yards, so. We found it, I can't believe it. I absolutely cannot believe it, so. Let's go, guys. It's just right out there. Not terminal bus. Yeah. I was surprised how much actual balloon is left on it. Like, I thought that thing would just shatter into a bunch of pieces. The way some of the footage you see, it looks like it just turns into, like, yarn. Oh, wow. <laughs> We are here. No worse for wear either. Look at that, it's all very cool. One piece. It's warm in there, the hand warmers have done their job. We had. So this is the balloon? I mean, yeah. The one contour. Water. And it just came off, I mean. <laughs> oh dang. Look at all the shreds. Yeah, Supposedly this guy just came down from roughly 100,000 feet and all things considered landed pretty gracefully. So it was not at terminal velocity when it hit the ground for sure. We'd be digging it out. So we'll see. Have to look at the footage and see how it went. Got two different cameras. We got this one and then we got this guy. So this is the main camera. This was just more for takeoff. Probably this didn't last the entire trip. We have safely recovered our launch to 18 miles up, 100,000 feet, and we're about to pull the memory card out of the contour. See what we got. Uh, Don't keep us waiting. 
think it's broken in it. Wow. There it is. That's freaking awesome. Wow. That's a cool Look at the sun. Yeah. Money. It's unbelievable. That is. It's, it's better than any video I've seen. Oh my God. It's That's really good. That's really good. I know. <laughs> Go back where the look at the sun. We're even getting free lens flare. Oh. oh my god, my stomach. Wow. I didn't get tank or did it? They just caught. Mmm. Nice that fish in the It's under a lot of pressure and it's blue. Mmm. Stronger than that. You're better than that. Way it's gonna be covered the whole time. It was all. It there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to clear up. Is that the end? That's where we are. That's the field we're in. Oh. So lucky you landed on this field. <laughs> that is hysterical. Yeah. And a cornfield.